So my name is Shane and I'm content and product designer at Wix Studio. And I've been working at Wix for almost uh, six years. And my latest project that I've been working on is Interactions. And I'm really, really, really excited to be here with you guys and share with you some of my tips and tricks on how to create some eye-catching web trends visual with Wix Studio. So um, today we're going to talk about site content and its meanings and roles. We will uncover eye-catching web trends and we also going to convert those eye-catching trends into reality with Wix Studio. So I'll start with the saying that a compelling website has great content that makes the visitor um, stay longer and interact and explore more. So let's understand what is website content. So we can split it into two. Um, there is the written content, meaning all the text and the words that we put in our website to tell its story. And the second meaning of the, the, is the visual content, which can include all of our design visual choices in terms of colors and typography, images, videos, and animations. And many times we treat the visual content as subtext, but today I want that we will turn the visual content into a hero. And we will be focusing on how to create compelling sites with great visuals. So what makes a visual to be an icon visual? And how can we transform a website from just a website to one of a kind, unique? or memorable website. So I know the answer can be subjective, but I think that each and every one of us can explore it by himself while browsing or searching for inspirations, whether it's for um, inspirational research or for personal needs. We, that, we just need to be aware of what made us stop on something and linger and which visual attract our intention and, and why. So if we will take a moment to think about a physical space like this Gucci store, there are design choices that transform this space into something very special and memorable. For instance, the walls that are covered with this pink purple fabric and making the whole place stand out. And the fancy staircase with its deep blue colors and mirrors effect that create impressive visual. Also the floor pattern, the product stand and their arrangement. All of those elements transform it into a glamorous, unforgettable space. And back to our virtual space, we need to understand which um, visual grab our intention. We need to ask ourselves what, for example, makes us stop or what intrigues us or what makes us smile. Maybe we visited a website that used some funny, humoristic visuals or what makes us feel comfortable. So I think it's important to remember those thoughts and feelings because it might help us creating those attention grabbing visuals on our next design project. And as long as we will keep our senses, senses sensitive for those visuals, it will be much more easier to convert it into visual in our next design project. And in, now I want that we will go over some example Example, so I collected bunch of eye catch bunch of eye catching visuals, examples that caught my attention while looking for inspiration. And I want to share it with you guys. So 
I split it into four categories according to fundamental visuals on websites, which is media, color, typography, and motion. And under each category, I added specific trend that I want to go over with you. So under media, we will talk about three trends, which is image and background relationship. And also we are going to talk about decorative videos, illustration with personality. And we will talk about statement topography, background gradients, and animation and micro animations. Okay, so let's start with the most fundamental element on the website, which is typography. And we will see how can we change it to be more attractive and compelling visual. So here, for example, we have a generic title with information we want visitors to pay attention to. And by applying a gradient inside the letters, it turns uh, to a decorative element that grabs attention. And here the designer decided to fill up the letters with animated colorful dots. And it's a vibrant visual that had lots of character and statement to this section. And on this example, the letters are filled up with a footage. And also I find that the extreme size of the letters adds even more interest and make it bold and impressive visual. So in all of those three examples, the typography functions as a, as a very powerful standalone decorative element, and it can definitely function as a unique visual that we are looking for. Okay, moving forward to our next trend, which is image and background relationship. So most sites tend to have solid uh, background color, mostly white or black, but I've noticed a trend of creating relationship between the hero images and the background image to craft compelling visuals. So here, for example, on this Levi site, a dramatic and artistic look and feel achieved through the contrast between the hero images and the background. And here, for example, the hero image and the background image creates harmony by sharing similar colors and visual language. And here the images and the background creates colorful, bold visual. But I also added this example because the visual here referring to something that I think evokes emotions, something, something that reminds us the past, referring to vintage nostalgic, nostalgic applications. So I believe this automatically became a captivating visual. Okay, so next is background gradient. So this is another way to add more volume to a website. And gradients can be a perfect and simple way to add ambience to a website. And it can be very subtle, delicate gradient that adds a warm feeling. It can also be colorful and aggressive gradient with multiple colors. It can be um, can add sophistication and mystery. And I think this can really function as standalone powerful visual on our website. Okay, moving forward um, to our next trend, which is decorative videos. So those are moving visuals that remind GIFs, have transparent background, and it can add lots of energy to the site. And the visual doesn't need to reflect a specific product, but add dynamic effects that capture the eye and add interest. It can be 3D amorph visual, like this example, or um, 
realistic video, like um, this example from the New York Times article. And it can also di display the product itself, like this rotating shoe here. Or animated illustration that adds some humor and fun to the website. Okay, so continuing to the next trend, illustrations with personality. So I find that illustrations really add life and story to a website. These, for example, Figma website that have identified visual language that uses illustrations to describe its feature and product. But we can also use abstract illustration and it's good, I think, also for the times that we struggle to create a series of images. So abstract illustration can be creative solution if we can find the perfect images. And on this example, the detailed illustration appears at the IKEA footer. And I think it's very surprising and nice experience to have this visual at the end of the scrolling. To me, it felt like a bonus to scroll all the way down and find this really lovely illustration. And finally, the cherry on top is animation, micro animations. So I want to keep talking about the Kia website because I think they did a great job with animations. And here we have also illustration, but what really grabs the attention here is how the illustration comes to life. We've got this gentle, subtle micro animation that adds touch of movement. And also what makes it even more eye-catching visual I think it's the contrast between the illustration and the image. And the image have, is black and white, the illustration have warm colors, and also the illustration surrounded by plenty of white space uh, versus the image that filling up the entire container. Okay, another visual, very nice visual. Um, and I think one of the most attention grabbing visual on their website is the collage that reveals with animations. I think it's really pretty visual and it really made me stay and watch the whole visual revealing. And I thought it's fun and creative uh, way to expose the site visitor to their product. And here on this section, IKEA used the iconic hex key and made kind of parallax animation. And I think it's clever visual because it showcased the brand's iconic object as a decorative animated element that adds humor and playful experience while scrolling. And um, okay, so we talked about many attention grabbing visuals. And we saw that we can add touch of interest and humor and sophistication and to add more character and personality to the site that we build and design. And now we want to try to do it with Wix Studio. So um, to do so, we are going to upgrade and, and to add more interest to this, um, to this uh, website, this beauty brand product, which is uh, the demo that we are going to work on. And we're going to do that with some of uh, Wix to your product, which are section gradient and transparent videos, vector art, section gradient, text mask, and interactions. Okay, so now we are going to now we are on Wix Studio. 
Hi. <laughs> so this is the website that we are going to to work on. And so we are going to go over the sections and to change a little bit of content to add some more interest and colors and things that will make it prettier, will grab the attentions of the user and make it more compelling website. So um, on the first fold, I want us to to change a little bit the, the text here. So here, the, um, I want to add some colors to the text, um, like the um, statement typography that we saw. And I'm, I'm going to do that with adding another comp component that called text mask. So I will go to the add panel and under the core team, I will click on text mask. And here you see we have lots of presets that you, we can start from. There's presets with video and gradient and image. So I will grab one of them to, I will drag one of them to my canvas. And now I want to change the content here. So let's change the content change text here and insert it inside the text box. And we are going to change the text here. First, we will change the font and then we will change the spacing, the line height and the character spacing. And also I want to change the heading tag to H1. So it will work with uh, my SEO. It's important to say that its function is live text. So in terms of SEO, it will work perfectly. So I deleted the, the, com the text component and now I have the text mask with gradient inside. So you can see that under the design, we have your fill and the gradient is selected. I just want to show you that you can also add here uh, media. So if I will choose this video and preview it, so you can see that I have here a video, but I will change it back to gradient and now I want to customize my gradient. So I can change the dots location and I can add more dots here. And I also can change the angle over here. And I can save the gradient that I've been created over here under add so I can reuse it. So maybe I will use this one that I've already created. Okay, great. So I really like this visual. I really like that I added some color and created some prism effect here. And here I want also that our site visitor will, will look on, at this area. So what I'm going to add here is microanimation. So I will select the vector art and I'll go to the inspector and under interactions, I will add loop animation. So here you have several presets that you can choose from and a very, very nice preset. So I'm going to choose spin. And I can adjust the animation over here and change the direction, the duration, the repeat delay, and the easing. But for now, I will keep it as is. 
Um, okay, so let's see the visual here. Okay, I like it. Let's continue to the next section. So here I want to add to the section here some colors, soft colors, something that will add warm to, to this fold. And so what I'm going to do is I will select the design tab. And here I will go to background under the design and I will press the color. And here I can also have gradient. Okay, those things that I that I'm going to show you now relevant also for text mask that we've been created. Okay, so I want us to for a moment to hide the repeater so we will see the whole thing and the capabilities. Okay, so um here also we can change we can change the colors um and change angle and you have here the drop down that you can change it to radial gradient or cony gradient you can also change the focal point and change angle here and i think we can create amazing visuals with this tool so and I really like this visual, but I want to show you another very nice feature inside the, the gradient. So you have here fluid gradient. And here you can really change the, the dots on canvas. You can change each dot color. You can add more colors. And, and you can even um, change to each dot the size and also the spread. So it's a very, very playful product and I really, really like it. So I am glad that I can show it to you also and share it with you. Okay, so back to iconic gradient and I think I will have this visual over here and I will return Peter. Maybe I will change a little bit of focal point that it will be here. Okay, so let's see the visual. Okay, so this is really nice. And now I want to move to the third section. And here we want to implement one of our, the trends that we've been talking about, which is um, background and image relationship. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select the section and I'm going to add image or video. So I will and add video and I will choose this one. And okay, so this is a video background. It looks nice, but I want to change the colors a little bit to fit to my, my, my website, my brand. So I will go to the background color and I will choose this purple blue and I'm going to change the video opacity to 60%. Okay, so let's see the visual. So this is nice. This is with really great um, environment and atmosphere. But I also want to add a little thing over here, which is changing the image opacity to 90%. And now I'm going to see the background through the image. Um, okay, so I really like this visual and let's move to this slide. 
Um, okay, so here um, I want to add a visual content next to my written content. And what I'm going to add here is not an image, it's illustration. Um, and I'm going to use the amazing product called Vector Art. So here you can um, go to the media manager and you can see we have lots of illustration, many, many styles. We have thousands of illustration that you can um, select from. You can filter by category or you can type in your own word and um, I will search for women woman portrait. And now I can choose from from here. Okay, so I will choose this illustration over here. I think it will fit to my site style and my brand. So I will add it to the page. And it's important to say that vector art is SVG um, format that you can also add your own SVG as vector art. And of course, it's remember, it's important to, to know that this digital format always keep its high resolution and quality. And in terms of performance, that it's much better um, format to use than PNG with transparent background. And another thing that is really, really important and um, is that that you can choose um, other colors, other colors to the illustration. So you can change, you can change the colors um, uh, that it will fit your brand and your uh, site look and feel. So this is an amazing feature of the vector art that you can definitely use. Um, okay, so next to our um, this section, so here I would like to add very dramatic um, attention grabbing visual that it will fit my content over here. So I'm going to do that with adding transparent video. So here I will go also under the core team, I will go to video and transparent video. I will go to the media manager and you see we have lots of videos that we are offering and that you can choose from. You can also upload your own transparent video, but I will um, search lipstick. And I will choose this transparent video. I resize it. Great. Now let's see. This is really, really nice. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to recolor a little bit the video. So this is amazing, amazing feature that you can um, change the video color. So I'm going to select the hue and I will change a little bit the hue values. I will go over the whole slide that you see the magic. And I will select this color and I can change always also this situation. Okay, so I think it's amazing feature because you, you can use um, any video that you want and match it to your brand colors. 
So let's see it over here. Amazing. Zero. Okay, so let's continue to the section. So now I think this image is working, but I would like to add something that it is more compelling and nicer. So I want to create the um, kind of the effect that we saw on the Kio website with the hex key where they created the parallax effect. So we are going to um, change here the image, the background image, and we will change a little bit the focal point. Okay. And now I want that we will add image. So we will go to media. I have here image that I already uploaded. Okay. So this soap back shot, going to rotate it a little bit. And now I'm, what I'm going to do, I will add scroll parallax. So I will select the image. I go to the inspector and under interactions, I will choose scroll, add. And here I can add parallax effect. So now when I'm scrolling, you can see that the soap is moving in different speed from the entire website. And change a little bit the speed here that it will be slower. Okay, great. So let's see it live preview. Okay. So next section is basically small banner and here it's going to be very simple. I'm going to change the background here also to gradient and I'm going to re reuse but the gradient that I've already used. I'm just going to change the angle over here. And I also thought it would be nice to add some reveal scroll effect over the text. So I will choose the text and then go to interactions and I will add scroll. And here I will change it to reveal. And I want to change it from, from right. Okay, and now when I'm scrolling, I can see the text revealing. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's continue to this textual um, section. Here I want to add some micro animations and I'm going to add loop animation to each one of those icons. I'm going to select different preset. So here I will select the spin pre preset on the shopping bag. I will add, I can choose from Jello or Uber. Let's keep it. Uber and here I will add, let's say three. Okay, so now I want to adjust the animation a little bit so it will be more subtle and delicate. So I change the distance here to be 10 pixels and now it works. Okay, so let's see it all together. Nice. Okay, so we've got to the footer. And this is very basic, basic functional footer, but I would like to 
add here um, more content, more visual content. So I'm going to add here a cell and I'm going to add a corn color. Also, I will change the corners here. I will select the whole section and I will change it a little bit. Okay. And now I want to add here and text mask. So I've already been saved this as asset and I will add it here to the cell. So I created this text mask gradient. You can see with this gradient over here. And now I want to create, to add here illustration that also going to move. So I am searched course for illustration and I, I, I basically didn't find exactly what I need. So I decided to combine few illustrations together. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So I can add from the quick add basic shape and there is option to change it to vector art and I'm going to search cosmetics here. So I found this visual that will uh, uh, that I liked, I would change the color. And I also find more illustration at the same series so that I can use. So I save those as assets. And I want to create composition from those four illustrations from the media manager. So I'm going to change a little bit the sizing of each one of them. And, and I'm going to create complex illustration. It will feel like um, one illustration and not, and not that I selected a few of them. So what I'm going to do, I will select all of them. I will create stack, then I can add it out in under layout. I can change the item spacing here to zero. Okay, so now I have this nice visual and I'm going to add here uh, also animation. I want it to move like banner. So I will go to loop animation and I will add cross so it will move from side to side. And but I want to change the speed a little bit. So I will change the duration to 10 seconds. And the last thing that I want to change is that illustration will stop at the edge of this of this and cell. So I'm going to select the cell and under the design tab, I will change the overflow content to hide. And now when I preview it, so the illustration will not go outside of the cell. Okay, so let's go over all of those things that we've been just created. Um, so we added text mask and we added this loop animation over here. We added conic gradient on the section background. And here we added video background. We added here, vector out illustration and transparent video that we 
we recolored. We also added here scroll parallax and we added here gradient and reveal animation. And also here we added loop animation and text mask and cross preset of loop animations. And so this is it guys. And I hope it was interesting and you got some insights and inspired by things that I showed you. Um, thank you. Thank you, Sheer. Um, I found it very inspiring. Um, if anybody has a favorite visual, please put it in the chat. There's so much good stuff here. Um, thank you so much. Um, and this was a very general overview. Um, so we have started running more in-focus webinars on specific features. So everybody stay on the lookout for some of those. Um, and, and thank you so much. We are going to dive into some of our top questions. Um, so let's get into those. Um, the first one is, do you recommend adding these eye-catching visuals to each section? Okay, so I think it's okay to have uh, one or two eye-catching eye visuals um, on the whole website. And I think in, in some cases, it's even will be better. I think it depends on the, the site, the content, and the, the, the look and feel that we want to achieve. And also what the client is asking for. So if you have something specific that you, you really want to um, grab the attention to it, so you you can use those visuals that I've been showing you. Cool, thank you. Um, next question, do the products you showed harm the site's performance in any way? Okay, so basically it doesn't supposed to harm the performance. We are doing our best that our products will be with the best performance and we are always making optimization in terms of the browse, different browsers or devices. So you can feel comfortable to work with those products and that it will work perfectly. Cool. Um, and can I adjust per breakpoint the animations you showed? So yes, of course, you, I showed that scroll and the loop and also uh, on all our triggers, you can change the animations per breakpoint. It can be the preset itself, but it can also be the adjust um, uh, values inside the preset. So there is a lot of freedom to change things per breakpoint. Got it. Thank you. Um, and do you think all that up? that all the things you showed are re also relevant to mobile? So, yes, of course, mobile, it's very important. And we we don't want to forget the mobile. Um, and I think it's really, really relevant. We we need to maybe do some adjustments um, and to consider the, the small format. Um, but it's very relevant that our sites will be compelling and and attention grabbing also on mobile right um okay well thank you again i think those are all the questions we can get to for today um if anybody has any questions that we haven't answered here um or in the chat feel free to go to the new wix studio forum and join the wix studio discord community and you can ask there our product managers will be more than happy to help you out. They are honestly the best. Um, and of course, our academy is always there as a resource for you to get more information. The recording of this webinar will be uploaded to the academy and also to our YouTube channel. Um, and we will definitely share those links with you 
Um, and if you have any feedback, please let us know in the feedback form that we will also share in the chat and via email. Um, so I hope you found this helpful and inspirational. Um, I really did. And thank you all so very much again. Um, that concludes our webinar. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone.